Hello everyone, this is Tim Station reporting from Kerbal Space Program 2. What's that sound? I think my PC's on fire. Just kidding. Ugh. Had to get the appropriate outfit ready for launching some rockets. We're going to call this the Tim Station Space Agency, yeah. Oh wait, I put it in the wrong place, hang on. Our mission today is going to be U2 Spy Plane. So because Kerbal Space Program 2 has a lot better aircraft, uh, plane wings and stuff, I want to try build a U2 Spy Plane. Uh, seems like this is the only cockpit really that would be suitable. I think we can colour it. Can we colour it black like the actual U2? Where is just empty fuselage sections? Tube, what does that do? Uh, oh, yeah, we can make it longer. Hang on. Why does it move up and down? If I take it off. Uh, right now, we need some fuel. I'm going to assume we need methane, even though jet engines don't run on methane. Or, or do some, I don't know. No, I'm pretty sure they don't. Why can't I move? I can move up and down in the VAB, but I can't move horizontally. Uh, right, engines. Engines, engines, engines. Jet engines. We want uh, probably this one. Is that the closest-ish? Okay, now aerodynamics. Let's build a wing. Where are the wings? Where are the wings? Here we go. Wings. Medium? Medium? The reason why I want to build a U2 is because of this cool little uh, wing designer where you can uh, basically make uh, custom wing shapes because you wouldn't be able to make a wing like this on the old KSP and I think that's that's pretty cool. I wonder how well the actual um, aerodynamics works on this like if I make it really thick will it give me loads of lift but like lots of drag as well. Wait why is hang on a sec hang on a sec hang on a sec why is one wing upside down? I've got it on the symmetry mode there we go one wing there. Oh, there we go. This blueprint mode is pretty cool where you can just like... Oh, not like that. It's like working in CAD. But it's KSP. Uh, now we need our elevator. Uh, not like that. Okay, I've just looked at some pictures of the actual U2 spy plane. The wing uh, like taper is actually a lot more than what I've got here, so it's quite a thick route. Alright, that kind of looks like a U2 spy plane, doesn't it? Uh, we, actually, we need to have... We need to have air inlets because otherwise the engines can't breathe. So we put those like... That looks really, really good. Okay, now we... We need to add the little fuel pods onto the wing. Not the real one. So... Oh, can you do extra small fairings? <gasps> you can. Yes. Right, so now we can do this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Perfect. Oh, yeah. That looks so good. One wheel just by the centre of mass, and then we want to put another wheel a bit further back. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, last thing we need is the wheels on the wings, which are actually detachable on the real one, I believe. Pretty sure when it takes off, the wing wheels just like fall off, so... Uh, we need a decoupler... Hey, hey, hey! I think this might be ready for a test flight. Nice and quick, nice and quick. Oh, I've just realised the... Uh, Central wheel doesn't touch the ground. Thrust. Okay, the air seemed to run out very quick there. Is it because I have the air intakes mounted at a weird position? Let's take these off and put them put them there, and then I'll just move them back a tiny bit, but not not inside the fuselage. So I'll put them like that. Full throttle. It's not running out as quick. It's going down. I don't know why. Uh, 
and take off. Oh yeah, so we can drop this landing gear, put the main gear up, and now, oh, wobbly. So it seems to have quite a good thrust to weight as we're climbing so quick. It sounds like the engine is uh, losing thrust. But we're only at 4,000 meters, so we should be able to go quite a bit higher. It does look amazing though, you have to admit, this does look cool. Okay, we're still climbing at a pretty steady rate. Uh, we're about holding about the same speed, 150 meters per second. Uh, actually accelerating slightly, and we're just about to cross 10,000 meters in altitude. There we go, 10,000. Come on though, we've got to go higher. We're, we're still traveling quite quick. Come on, I want to see the stars! Oh, wait, there's the stars. But I want to see the curvature. Oh, we already see the curvature. I want to go higher! Come on, higher! Okay, we're at 12,000. And the controls are starting to feel a bit wobbly. As in, like, they don't do a whole lot. You can see if I track behind the plane, it's slightly, like, yawing to the side. Come on, come on, come on! How much angle of attack do I need to keep keep in the air? Feels like I'm just sort of like riding a wave through the atmosphere. It's probably not the most efficient way of flying. Right, let's try and trade the speed for altitude now. You ready? Pull up. Come on. How high can we go? Don't stall it, don't stall it, don't stall it. 13,000... Almost 13,400. It's not going much higher than that, I don't think. Right, I think we need to head back. Okay, we're heading back to the Kerbal Space Center. But we're literally just about to run out of fuel. I think we might be testing how well this thing can glide in a second. We've still got... Oh, there we go. We've got six and a half thousand kilometers of altitude. <laughs> we're in a U2 spy plane and we've got no fuel. Question is, do we try and keep our altitude or do we try and gain some speed? Depends how much drag this thing has. I thought I'd pause the game then it was flying so slow. Come on, we can make it back! It's a good job this thing was built like a glider because it looks like we're making it home. Let's put out the wheels, give us some braking maybe. Here we go. U2, empty of fuel coming in for landing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What do you reckon the stall speed is? Oh, nice touchdown, nice touchdown. Was that 22 meters per second? Can we keep it level? Let's put the brakes on. Oh, no. <laughs> right, now I think it's time to launch this plane to another planet to see if we can spy on some aliens or something. Uh, I believe the only other planet, or it's actually technically a moon, that has uh, an atmosphere that can use jet engines is Lathe, which orbits. Is it Joule? I can't remember where it orbits. Uh, let's put it into the... Uh, here it is. Lathe. Yeah, so it orbits dual, so we need a lot of Delta V to get there. I'm going to do a one-way trip. Just makes it a bit more viable. Let's see how we can get there. So I'm going to scrap the wheels that normally the U2 has on it. Do we launch this on top of a rocket, or do we add rockets to it and fly it like a plane? I'm going to try 
the second one first, I think. So we do... <laughs> it looks like it's just got two huge missiles on the <laughs> wing of a U-2. Uh, right, we might need to add some struts. Okay, so jet engine, two outside rockets. Okay, let's launch this uh, very terrifying looking U-2 in three, two, one, launch. Come on, oh. Right, I think what I might try doing, I move this back, but then uh, up. So then we have a slight angle of attack. Now if we put some fins there, then we'll get some lift at the front. Right, let's try this, see if we can get off the ground. <laughs> right, uh, okay, so we've got a slight angle of attack. We've got the new fins on the front, full throttle, go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Come on. Okay. They're gonna run out any second. Separate the boosters. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, that worked. No, we're never gonna get to lanes with this. Nope, I'm quitting that. <laughs> There's no way we're gonna get to lanes, we can barely get to orbit. Maybe we do need to launch this on top of a rocket. Okay, this is the upper stage that's gonna get us the lathe. Uh, and now we need a lower stage. Hmm. We might need some big fins on this because of the massive wings up front. Good job. We've got procedural wings, so we can do large wings on it. Let's do let's do control servers instead of wings. I think we're ready for launch. Eleven thousand four hundred meters per second, apparently. Uh, apparently, all the delta v's are calculated in. Oh, I'm on the wrong way. Yeah, apparently all the Delta V's are calculated uh, for vacuum performance, not for uh, atmosphere performance. Which is a bit weird. Right, launching from the runway. I apologise to the next plane that taxis. So we're going to have a few potholes to go through. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold that, hold that, no! Is that too big? Okay, come on, we've got to be a bit more stable this time. No, 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 no. Okay, test number two. Try and turn. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Let's try this again. And then separate. So full throttle on the main engine and separate boosters. Oh, that was. Nice, but could have been bad. Okay, Whew. starting to lose control a bit. Uh, okay, I'm just going to cut off the engines there. No, 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 no. It's because the uh, thrust offset, isn't it? Right, so hopefully this is it. I've got uh, some extra hydrogen tanks at the top to balance out the weight of the U2. Uh, fins are just as large as always. Let's give this a test. It's like half sitting on the fins, half sitting on the rocket, rocket engine. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just keep it, let's go it straight up for now. The fins are so wobbly. 
Come on! Fight the... <laughs> fight the rocket! <sighs> this could be it, this could be it. Come on. <sighs> okay. Full throttle. Boosters are about to... Turn off. There we go. Boost to separation. Oh, just missed me. So far, it's following where I wanted to. Okay, now coast up to 120. Let's see if we can get it into orbit. Maneuver. Okay, that will be not a very circular orbit. Now I have RCS on this, but I don't really want to waste the monopropellant, so what I'm going to do instead is just slowly increase the throttle and use the thrust vectoring to bring us to the right uh, direction. And boost! Let's go. So one of the best things about KSP2 is that you can fast forward the uh, boost period, which is so useful because this would take forever otherwise. When I say forever, it was only about 50 seconds. But now, cut the throttle in orbit. Let's see how we can get to lathe, because I have no idea how to get to lathe. I suppose first of all, we need to get out of Earth's sphere of influence. That's cool. Cool, we really need to get out there, don't we? Hopefully I have enough Delta V. Still says I've got 8,000, so we should be okay. Bye-bye, Earth. Oh, uh... Just missed that. We've just run out of fuel on, the, on that stage. Can we separate? Did you want to separate? Boost a little bit away. Wait, why am I not focusing on my plane? Why is this not focusing on the plane? Let's go to map view and then we'll cancel out this thing and then we'll see how it goes. Something's not going quite right for some reason. So my plane's disappeared. My, my plane's disappeared. I can't control it somehow. I've lost all control. Come on, how do I... Ugh. Do you know what? I think we're going to have to end this video here. Maybe we'll have to try this again when uh, KSP2 isn't in early access. Thank you very much for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video.